Oh, it's still shut. A little crack. turned off after four hours. This one does not want to do that. So what we do is come over here. Yesterday's video. It's a little longer than expected. Eh? Be -be -be -be. Hi. Take me to your leader. Can you take me to another planet? Mr. Hairless Sergeant Scrotum. Oh, he's a good boy. I love your wrinkles. The best part is when you do this on the back of the butt. You know, the whole full wrinkle. See the full wrinkle? You guys see the full wrinkle? Watch it. Stop, and then you touch it again. It goes full wrinkle, full wrinkle, full wrinkle. <laughs> you just do a little thing here. <laughs> Hi, baby boy. I didn't call him, you the dude. Yeah, good boy. Stop peeing and pooping. I'm gonna let you hang out with us more often. This skin is so interesting. It's a cat. Ugh, he's so smart, so sweet. Be one with the animals. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hey. Hi. Can you help me cut off my facial hair? on that buffalo chicken pizza. Hairless cat from outer space. How's that buffalo doing?
see this is done. Let's uh, upload for tomorrow. This way it's already ready for tomorrow. Yes. Demonetize. Yesterday's video, it's because I said the F word, it gets demonetized. Honestly, I don't care. I think around 11, 12 at midnight is the latest. I will post these videos from the night before. I'm going to eat buffalo chicken pizza and go to bed. Pizza. When I do eat this pizza, though, I take a pre probiotic. I think it's like Fortify, Walmart, it's like $12. Pre and probiotics are crucial to get diet regimen. Get on them. Unless you want to wake up like this. Like, what do you want to wake up like this? What do you want, bro? I know. I'm going to eat this. And I'm gonna go watch some television. Go to bed. And hope the kids go to school tomorrow. Ugh, we'll see. Oh, bedtime clothing. This is everything right now. Yummy. Seinfeld it is the nose job. Hi. All right, I'm eating pizza. See kids tomorrow. Right. I can't wait to scarf this down. Guess who just got sent home early from school? Beckham. Little boy. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? You sound wonderful. Let's close this. <laughs> what do you want for me? What do you want? He wants. What do you want to do? What are you trying to eat? Eat. What do you need? Eat. Eat? Okay. Let's put you in this warmer outfit, though, too. Did you dress yourself? Oh, man, I'm coming, dude. I'll just put my slippers on. Okay. <laughs> hey, what do we say? We say, take our vitamins, kids. Take our vitamins, kids. <laughs> Here, sick boy, take our vitamins. <coughs> hey, boy. This is now. 122, good level, buddy. <coughs> Seems to be himself. Mm -hmm. Come on, play. I like when you use them both, all the instruments. This is no. Get down. Get down. Before you get hurt, get down. This is no. Absolutely not. We're trying to take out the trash. Stop. We gotta lock ourselves out to take out the trash because of this child. Look, it's Christmas magnets for the refrigerator, but it's a snowman. So we can, you know, we don't have to have this thing here anymore. I took all that away, just kept falling off the windows of 20 things he hung up. Look, magnets. Look, hat. Oh, it's his hat. Look, you can stand in front of it. Look, you can look like you have a hat on. Yeah. There you go. You got a hat on. Look, you got to find his eyes. Oh, that's a hard. Put us wear your gloves. Oh, here's part more. His eyes. Yeah, there you go. Good job. I like it. It looks nice. <laughs> okay, you said bye, Grandma. Bye, Grandma. I love you. Here, this is, where'd that thing go? Where'd the snow, this, the, where'd the guy go? We gotta put him on the window, buddy. Where did he just go? Oh, I was trying to find a key. I can't find the one key. I'm like, I gotta find that key. These go on the window, buddy. Watch. 
Put them right here on the window. Right here. Look. But they stick on the window better. Yeah, we'll fix them on here, okay? You understand? Good job. Can't go on the fridge, it won't stay. He was trying to put it on the fridge again. I was like, we need to leave this here. This is so Santa Claus comes. This is a symbol for Santa to say, this is for Brody and Beckham. Leave it here, it doesn't stay on the fridge. It just falls on the ground. <laughs> look, look, buddy, there's a difference. Look, these are magnets. Look, I'm trying to teach you something. Beckham, Beckham, you gotta pay attention and you gotta follow directions. Beck, look, look, black magnets. The clear doesn't work on here. It goes on the windows, okay? See what else we got. Yeah, you got all kinds. You gotta put them on the window. Come here, go over to the window. You like to decorate windows. Go ahead, go decorate the windows. Windows, all over here. Go ahead. But you put it right here too. Look, 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 here. Or there, anywhere you want on the windows. Here, there's more. Go to town. Much better than stickers. I can easily pull these off. He's gonna put the, the barcode double on there, dude. Good job, buddy. I'm glad these came today. This worked out perfect. They just, they just <laughs> it. Good job, sick boy. All right, we'll come back and see how you did at the end. You got another one, too. And look, you got another whole one here. We can put Rudolph. <laughs> look, look, look. We got Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Can we put him up here? Put the reindeer right here. Okay. <laughs> Careful you don't rip it. You want me to help? Let me help. Yeah, he looks good there, man. Good job. Good job, Beckham. I like what you did over here. Happy. This is nice, buddy. <laughs> Little decorations up in here. Hey, can I take this and put this one up? Up here, a Christmas symbol. Good job, we gotta get some autism stickers on here for you guys, man, on the outside so the kids don't peel them off. These come right off though, you saw their laminate things, they don't, they're not stickers. Good job, buddy. Good job, Beckham, they look good, my man. I know what you're doing right now, you're standing up on that thing to look at your stuff up there, huh? This is now, get down. You gotta get down. Hey. Hey, I can see you. Get down. You're going to fall and get hurt. I mean, I'm telling you. I'm trying to get this trash out. This is no. You got to get down. I don't want you to fall and hurt yourself and knock your tooth out. Your new tooth, okay? I found the key I was looking for. I got to take this out. He's over there watching himself on TV, so let's get this out while we can. Just sit down. I need to take... Sit down. I need to take the recycling out. Thank you. You don't need to come running every time you hear a door open. Jesus, man. He's in there. Sit down now. I just want to find those drumsticks. I don't even want to get into this with him. What the hell are these keys? Where do you find stuff, man? Like, where did this... I see you, bad boy. Get down. Get down. God. Oh, why can't you just be in school today? Recycle, kids. Are we just going to misbehave all day today? Yeah, I'm going to lock this. You ain't getting out of here, escape, escape all this Houdini man. <sighs> Give me these keys back. Mine. Good job, buddy. He didn't want to eat, he wanted the rock. Look at that hair, man. Look at that hair. The hair, man. Look at that hair, brother. Look at that hair. Haircut. You need a haircut. I just sat down. What do you need now? What do you need? What do I need? Oh, uh, you know. I swear to God, you bring me downstairs to go do something I don't want to do, like to EAT. Like, I just went through this with you. Good. You're going this way. What's the problem? The TV, of course. Sure. I, I, I don't know, buddy. The internet's down or something. I don't know. You asked for my help. I turned it off. It needs to be rebooted. I, I'm not going to help you then if you're not going to listen to me. I got things to do here, son. Huh? Teacher? I... What? Need hmm? my what? diaper. Diaper? Changed. Change. Not changer. You come in here, changer. Did you poop? I poop. It's not funny if you pooped. It's not. Okay. No, you can sit in it for a little while. No, I'm good, bro. No, you should have told me about potty. No. This is no. Pooping ourselves to get me to change you is no. You need to go when you're supposed to go in the potty. Unless it was an accident. You did it on purpose, I though. Changed. Yeah, and you're putting that the, the tablet in my face to record me and laugh. I get it, because I, you know. 
Sure, I'll come change it. No problem. Not like I have tons of things to do today. I was going to clean, but I'm not even going to bother with that. It's not with him here. Oh, I can smell it. Good God. Why didn't you use the potty? This is no. Big boys don't poop ourselves on purpose for their fathers to change them. It's pretty gross. Got the option. I'm going to throw my slippers up here right now. All right, let's go. S-H-I-T head. Downstairs. I'm not doing it here. Downstairs. I don't have any diapers up here, bro. See how much of a routine? It's because it's a routine of his. He sees me in there comfortable on the computer doing what I need to do. Getting some stuff done and immediately craps himself on purpose so I can go do this with him. And I left the keys upstairs. You have to wait a minute. I gotta go get the keys. God damn it, him doing this poop thing. I'm coming back home. I need to get the keys. Keys are not to be trusted. I'm coming. I need the cake. Go. I need to get the cake. That's all. I yeah, know. You want to take videos of daddy wiping your butt. Real funny. As soon as I can't get in here to get the diapers. <laughs> this is no. Poop. Pooping ourselves on purpose for daddy to change us so we can videotape and laugh at daddy's facial expressions is not funny. Get it out of your head that pooping ourselves on purpose for it for comedy and funny is not funny anymore. You're a big boy. You need to start acting like a big boy. You're being ridiculous and absurd to make me do this. While I'm trying to get work done, you're doing nonsense. Stop. Blech. Oh, God, it smells so bad, too. Oh, maybe he'll feel better now. <laughs> Take videos of daddy in my face and all that stuff. It's bad. This is no. All right, most importantly, we have this back with us here. We put it over there. Oh, it's baby Beckham and grandma. She picked you up from school today, son. Oh. Waiting on uh, Brody to get off the bus here. I was watching from upstairs. He's got this on. He's downstairs, though. Good job, buddy. Because I don't know what time he gets back. It's like 2.15. I'm assuming he'll be pulling up any minute. Kids have half days. Beckham got an extra half, short half day today because he's still sick as a dog. And I have the keys. You falling asleep? You sleep? Oh, you threw up, huh? Oh, no. Just saliva and stuff. Okay. We'll take care of that. Why don't you turn the light off if you're trying to fall asleep here? Get some shut out, man. It's good for you to feel better. See what the puke. Oh, no, Beckham. Looks like all mucus stuff, though. Ugh. ugh I heard him like. <coughs> oh, God. You okay? Okay. Okay. He's watching more recent videos. He's over here learning, I hope, what to do and what not to do of himself. It's interesting. Here comes Brody's bus, and of course this kid. Get down! This is no. Get down, Santa Claus. Get out of the window. Get down. Get down. This is no. Got, how you doing, Brody? Got Beckham showing off. He's standing up in the window up there for you, buddy. You got sent home from school. I know, man. Kids are pain in my ass, man. It's <laughs> like no other. It's a show off. Thank you, guys. You as well. How you doing, baby boy? Look at brother. Look at him up there being a butthead. You see him up there? Look, look. Look up there. Look. You see brother? Look. There's brother. He's up there. Look. Look up here. Look. Say hi. I'm bad. You can't do swing now. Well, I guess you can do swing. You want to do swing for a minute? Here. Yeah, you can do it. It's nice and sunny out here. See, it's what good kids get to do. They get to swing. The sun feels good. Man, the tank top, man. It's not cold. It's probably like 55, 60, 60 something, maybe. Good job, buddy. You do your swing. I got to grab some stuff over here anyway. I got packages over here I got to get. Good job. <laughs> How you feeling? You look like you're feeling good. Let's see what Amazon dropped off more. So I'm trying to keep the presents away from Beckham and Brody. So, oh, they're in brown boxes today. Good. This boy, though, he's piling crap up all over here, man. I, I'm not picking that up today, but I just want to see where those damn drumsticks went to. <laughs> they're not out here. Look, Beckham. It's your decorations, Beck. You did good. Look, they look good. 
Where's the other ones at? Yeah, good job, buddy. Look at that. That looks cool. Oh, we got to switch the happy so you see from that end. I think this thing lights up. I don't know. Don't you throw up, too. Well, the one box was all my stuff. I remember this is from Walmart from another order of days ago. I'm going to eat this today, man. But in this other one, yeah, I want to hide these from you. I mean, if it's a whole, it's a whole mess. I don't care. I might go through until I'm today, but I'm, you know, I'm down to like, this is it. I don't have any other gifts for you guys right now. <laughs> because that like, Christmas is not going to be anything for dad, but like it really matters. Grandma said they got to got him some nice stuff. They just need to open a couple things. That's all. It's Hanukkah. Good job, Brody. He's still back up there again. He's running back and forth. I hear him. He's not coming out here, though. He's going to try. Let's see if he gets out somehow. He's smart. Good job, baby boy. But actually, we got to get inside in a minute here. Because uh, you can't be out here when you, you get sick more. Come on, let's go inside. Let's go get some lunch. You didn't eat lunch yet. Come on, Brody. Let's go. Hey, keep your clothes on. Don't take your clothes off. Come on, Brody. We got to go in. I know you're having fun, but he's going to, hes you know, he can't watch you do this. Come on. One more swing. One more. Let's go. One big one. I know you're stimming and having fun, but he's taking his clothes off and he's misbehaving because we're out here. Come on. Let's go. No, Brody. We got to go. Baby boy, we got to. Ow. Ah, ah, that's my finger, buddy. That's the bad finger, bud, bud. Okay. You're hurting me. Let go. Ah. I think I had my surgery on my Okay. We got to go in. Come on. I know. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> you know, if it's Beckham, he'll be grabbing it up. Come on, you got plenty of instruments in there. Come back up for all this other stuff. <laughs> Beckham, we're taking his clothes off, standing in the window up there. Unbelievable, man. It never ceases to amaze me. His behavior is like that too. Yeah, hi. Can we keep our clothes on? Put your arms back in your shirt. Thank you. Brother was just doing some swing, swinging on the swings while I was cleaning up. <sighs> we can't go out. No, we can't go outside. We can get you food though. You can eat. No, Brody, I'm not going outside. You're still sick. He's sick. I need you to sit down. These look nice from outside, Beckham. You did a good job. Don't take them off. Leave them on. Why would you take them off? You can put them somewhere else. You can put them on any window. Good job, buddy. I thought he was going to wrap it on purpose. What do you want to eat? Come have a seat. Let's get you, let's get you dressed up first. Let's do this first. Woo! How was school to, How was school today? Calm down. Are you helping me undress them? Good job. There you go. Good job, Beckham. Lay down, birdie. Okay, let's, yeah. let's get you dressed. I know you're going to have a meltdown because you didn't get to what you wanted. I'm sorry. It's cold. You know how cold my hands are? Yeah, and you're coughing. You give him hugs and kisses. You say, I love you, Brody. He was like patting his head. He's really sweet. Room just now. Good job, back on. All right, double diaper, buddy. There he is. Now he's laughing. <laughs> there he is. Hi. So you good now? Boop. You good? You got that love and hug from brother? Oh, you like that, huh? Get the tickles on the big feet here, the big feet, the big feet, the big feet, the big feet. The big feet. Burr, 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 burr. How was school? I wish you could tell me about your day. Got big yo teeth on. You got some nice big chompers. The other ones are coming in too. You gonna play some music for us today? Yeah. All right, let's put you in the same outfit too, okay? Baby boy, I gotta put the clips on. I forgot to grab them. Come on, come on. Sing it. Come on, I gotta put these on. I'll do it over here then. Oh, you watching Christmas again, huh? Come on, let me do this real quick. Come here. Come here. Please come here. Thank you. Down here. Thank you. All right, he's clipped. We do these little clips that we put on to keep him in there so he doesn't take his clothes off and do a duty smears. All right, just seeing how Birdie did. And, of course, he only ate the spaghetti, so I'm about to boil him some more. He's ran out. Got to make more. Oh, let's get that there, too. Get our pull up. There are seven pull-ups left today. One pull or seven, something like that. Yeah, we're running low on pull-ups too, man. Yeah, mom didn't do her duties, man. Make sure we get them every month, mommy. But uh, here we go.
Beckham, I mean, bro, you had a good day as always. Good job, buddy. What is this? Ah, oh, what is this? Whoa. Look at Brody looking all handsome on there, Brody. You look nice, my man. These are cool. Oh, they're free or what? Mom ordered these, I guess. It's cool. Look at you. Look, we got brother. We can hang brother up on the Christmas tree and stuff. Yeah, man. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's cool, okay? Not yet, though. Not yet. I just wanted to show it to you later on, okay? Something from October is Brody. Oh, he did it today. Good job, Brody. He won't have a report because you can't have milk. You're sick, son. Again. No milk. No, I said no. No, it, it makes it worse for you. I see you're not going to eat. I know, but I'm telling you no. So I see you're finally starting to eat something here. Let's check your blood sugar. Do you want to eat? I'm going to make you spaghetti. Look, it's Santa Claus again. Woo! Oh, boy. All right, again, take your vitamins, kids. Ready to come a run in here. I'm going to get back in a little bit more, too, here. You get the double dose today. You double of everything. Except for, we're not giving him pre and probiotics. He doesn't eat it. He's not constipated anymore. We're going to wait. There's only a couple left. Then we're going to give Beckham his four vitamin C's. So that's 500 milligrams of vitamin C. And then we're going to give him one of these and one of these guys to boost. So hopefully boost his immune system. Here. He's got to, you know, he's got to get better. There you go. Good job. I hurt. Anyway. Robot Christmases. That's what I look for, robots for them again. They need a couple of robots, one each. Oh, we gotta get the pasta, boy. We gotta get the pasta. We ran out of whole grain, now we can do regular. All right, this is yes, but you gotta share. Good job. Pick one of these, go to Brody, okay? You can't have all three. You cannot have all three. You give one to Brody. Then give him this one, then. And you take this. No, he gets one. You cannot have, you can't have all, yo, bro. Yeah, you're gonna hurt somebody because you're not listening. There you go. You understand now? He gets one, at least one, okay? I understand you wanna jam out. There you go, good job. Try these lighter ones over here. Remember, you gotta hold it up. Good job. Good job, boys. Well, now which one do we choose? Beef with country vegetable for myself? A chunky ghost pepper. I choose this because I want to crap my brains out today. <laughs> I only had it once. I really enjoyed it. It's really good. It's definitely really spicy. You want to try this today? You want to let a little, little spice in your pepper and get your little step in? I just don't want these kids to stop. They won't eat anything like this. They'll take a little taste of it. Like, yeah. Obviously, if it was even regular chicken, they would you won't. A little, little bite of this. A little bite of this, buddy. Again, they will clear your sinuses up pretty goddamn quick. Chicken noodle. Ready? We jam it. You do it in. Can I get in here too? I don't know. We go in. Now you jam it out. You get it going now. I'll do this one. But pasta the ball here. You gotta share. I'm sorry, but you cannot keep taking everything for yourself. That's why I put it back over there. You cannot have everything. Okay? Good job, Brody. I like how you're doing the double taps. Good job, boys. This is yes. You're playing it correctly. Plus all the sugar and carbs and the gummies and sugar. Just get some out. One of each. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. You're gonna eat the rest of these two, I'm assuming. Let's get your winner cups refilled. You see the snowman though, right, Brody? Remember, we don't rip him off the fridge. He's eyeing him up. You like the snowman? How you doing, baby boy? Give me some skin. He's like, get out of here and make me dinner, Dad. <laughs> Watch. There's your good stuff. The spaghetti, a fresh cup of ice water. Okay. Steamy feels good, huh? He just put this hand. Look, it's warming up the hands. Oh, nice and warm on the hands, huh? You just double fisted the position over here. I like it. Both hands. Good job, Beck. Remember, you got your water here. Don't dump it on the drums. Let me get your ice water. Go, Brody, go. Go, Brody, go. Go, back and go. Go, back and go. My man, you're always taking the phone and taking pictures of daddy. <coughs> so you don't want to eat. Okay. Daddy's going to eat. I love this those chicken noodle soup. It's delicious, man. Good spices to keep the system going. All right, I'm going to go eat my uh, chicken noodle uh, ghost pepper soup and some drinks of milk, and I'm going to crap my brains out, kids. I'll be back. I'm going to change my diaper when I come down, right? And of course, he follows me up the stairs. Door? No door. No, we're not going in the neighbor's door. Let me shut this. It's cold in here. Go back downstairs and play music, please. Come on. Out. Out. Thank you. Okay. I'm what? No. Stop. Let me eat for five minutes. I didn't even get a chance to sit down. Please. We can wait to watch Monsters, Inc. God, you didn't take a bite yet. All right. It's Monsters, Inc. time. Drumming with the giraffes. I got to watch half an episode of Seinfeld. It was a good feeling. <laughs> no, no, no. You're doing it again. You're dumping water all over the chair and you're handing me cups over and over again. And I said no. No, you need to find another way to stim some with the drums. You're not dumping water all over yourself and all over the chair. I have to get this through to you. You got to stop doing it. You're sitting in cold water right now. I told him no to the ice water. So here we go. I know it. Yeah, you did it. You handed it to him. Now, you're not dumping water all over yourself and all over the floor. What are you not understanding? I said no. Now, you don't help him and encourage him to do this. You lock this back up so he doesn't get into this. And I see you took the light fixture apart. That's real good. Back climb up here to turn this on. That's fine. But did you have to turn the light off? Did you have to break this apart in the, in, during the process? Ew, there's a bug in there. Again, you kids, just don't listen to directions, and it frustrates the crap out of me. Now he's upstairs taking advantage of what's in that room while I'm down here. You go back and forth with me, and then you do the bad things. I'm sick of it. If I tell you no the first time, I mean no. Now I gotta run up there before he goes crazy and does some other nonsense in that bedroom. Like takes my vitamins out and throws them all over the bedroom. Where are my socks? If he dumps one for you, my feet get all wet. Yeah, sit down. I need you to sit down. You got me all wet with water now, too. Sit down. You're sitting in a puddle of water, first of all. This is no. Stop dumping water all over the chairs and yourself. What do you need? I need to I need to be changed. Are I changed? You need to use the potty. Why did you poop yourself again? Debbie? Oh, you know, Beckham, you know. Thanks, buddy. Where's your brother? You better not be down there dumping water. Where's Brody? Is he in here? <clears throat> okay, good. Just making sure you're in here and not dumping water downstairs. I gotta go change your brother's diaper. He pooped himself again. Didn't we do this already today? This is no. Get downstairs. Let's go. I'm not changing you out here. This is ridiculous. Oh, and I just locked the keys inside here. Oh, you know. Ah, you know, Beck, you caught me off guard. Now I gotta use the butter knife technique to get in that door. I don't have the little keys. Oh, you know. Sucks. Damn it. Thanks for crapping yourself to make me all discombobulated again. You know? I, I don't have a key. I gotta figure out how to get in this door. I need a butter knife, but I'm pretty sure all the butter knives are in here. Oh. They'll be in there and dirty in the dishwasher. But I hope I have one more up there. Yeah, I know you think it's so funny to keep pooping yourself, it's a now. I don't know what else to do with you anymore. I'm sick and tired of it. You're pooping yourself all day with this nonsense. I can't stand it. You got to stop doing this, dude. 
You think it's so funny to keep doing this crap? It's not at all. Like, what are you doing in this situation? This kid he keeps doing this on purpose when he knows where the bathroom is. It's ridiculous. I'm about to go to the bathroom, but I'm, I can't even go because we know what's going to happen then. More chaos. I'm trying to open this damn door. There we go. It's called breaking and entering with a butter knife. Don't you try that one. Oh, your mom's got a sharp knife in here. How wonderful. I hope I have a key up here. I have one of these ones that's just harder to open with. I think the screw's a little small. Let me find this thing. I like this is the one, but this end is really hard to open. It's small. Oh, you know, man. Hey, I'll be right back. I gotta see if I can get in that door back in that room to get the key. I can't open it with this one. This one won't work. They work on certain doors, but not that one. All right, good to know that I can always break in this one with a butter knife. Because that other one, I couldn't get into it. So, yeah, such nonsense to do it through. Now, we can do a changer. Oh, you still comfortable laying there, huh? Must be nice. Now, put the Kelly key in my pocket. Now we can open it. See, this, this is way bigger, the screw part. The other one's too skinny. Had I dropped that one outside the door in there. There we go. Look at me, mister. Hey, stop pooping yourself on purpose. It's not funny. It's not okay. You know how to use the potty. You come and get me and you tell me potty. This is no. He understands how to go potty. He knows Brody has a more difficult time. And I have a difficult time once he reaches in the toilet. But this one knows where the bathroom is. This is not, it's twice today. Thank you for that. As I checked the fridge too, I had these on there, but I didn't put the zip tie on. You could tell he went in here and opened that raw chicken. Touched it with his hands. Again, stay out of the fridge too. I put on all the night lights now to calm you down, I hope. Oh, man, he found the cookie jar, too. Oh, crap. He definitely ate some cookies out of this. God damn it. It was a lot lighter. Sneaky, too. And you went in here to mayonnaise packets and all. You went through the whole fridge, huh? You were huffing whipped cream, probably, too. Oh, that's just wonderful. Your blood sugar is going to be through the roof now. I don't know what you ate. Oh, man, I got to put a lock for this thing. It's not going to break. Damn it, Beckham. Good luck. So I got them for like six or seven bucks because they put good luck instead of Merry Christmas. <laughs> good luck. I like that better from now on, Snowman. Good luck. No more Merry Christmas. It's just good luck. Good luck. Good luck. A teeth. Ah, uh, so pretty back. It's so nice to look at this stuff. It's beautiful. I love it. Good job with that though. Go take a nap in your spaceship. All right, I'll be back. I'm going upstairs again. Again, everything is locked and I had the keys. There's another one I dropped on the ground down here. Oh. I gotta lock this because of Brody. That's only 4.30, man. Sick kids are not fun to be around. He's gonna wake up and be miserable. All right, let's get back to what I was doing here. Just looking for inexpensive gifts for them, like little ones. I think as he keeps playing that video over to Christmas, the robots, I'm gonna get them the same little robots again from like three years ago that they all broke. Oh, never mind. Dad's got duties. Ghost pepper chicken. Chicken goes so big in it. Just close it right out here. Make sure I lock this so I sit on the body. I sit on the body, on the toilet. My secret way of making sure Beckham is still here. Beckham, I love Brody. Beckham, I love Brody. He must have fell asleep too. No, you're awake. I love Brody. Why didn't you say it back? You couldn't hear me? Oh, I got nervous for a second. I thought you left the house somehow. Oh, you know what time it is. Just notice I had this on here. I'm gonna watch this while the kids are uh, both doing their own thing, sleeping and behaving. They're sick boys. It's a miracle. I got through the whole movie of National Lampoon's Christmas without them even coming up here. So you know they don't feel well. Brody's still asleep. I'm assuming Beckham passed out this time, definitely. Let's check. That's Brody video. It's pitch dark. He's out. This one, I think he's still awake, though. Got the glow. Oh, no, he passed out.
passed out. Good. We're both sleeping. It's because I heard that. I was like, oh. How you doing, my man? Come on, why don't you get up, bro, bro? Here, we got Monsters Inc. on. Come with me. I need you up at 7.30. You're both asleep still. This is kicking my butt. Come on. Oh, you're going to battle me. Okay. Watch your head. Yeah, there you go. You happy boy. You're doing the Monsters Inc. again. Oh, wakey, wakey. Hi. Hi, how was your nap? Christmas tree. Yeah, that's a Christmas tree out there. Are you hungry? You want to eat? Eat. Okay, let's go figure out some food for you two. I think it's that time. It's eight o'clock. You guys are just, you know, been sleeping all day, which is good. You're sick. Well, let's go eat. Let's go. Come on. We'll come back for Monsters Inc. Maybe I'll put it on the projector for you and down there. I don't even need to bring the projector. I said we're going to put Monsters Inc. on and Beckham said Monsters Inc. All right, here we go. Monsters Inc. it is. We'll turn it off. You guys can do a movie. We're going to be up till probably midnight tonight, I have a feeling. How you doing? What do you want to eat? Are you eating the crackers? Good. That's probably good for you right now since you threw up earlier. Light, light is good. Hopefully I got that. You got me doing this in the dark. 58. Yeah, you need to eat. Good. Good. I'm glad you're eating now. Okay. I'm going to get you some bread. We're not doing any cheese, no milk, none of that. You got to eat light. Here's bread and butter. Since we don't have that, I just melted some and dripped it on there because you know, he doesn't want to eat plain, plain bread. I can't really spread that butter. It's like solid as a rock. It's so hard to do. You got to like let it thaw out. It's table butter. Is it good? Yummy? And what do we say? Thank you. You're welcome, son. This is yes. No, this is yes. <laughs> there you go. There's one more bread and butter. There's your spaghetti's done here. Let's put you on the tray. So this breadcrumb is going to live. There you go, son. Spin it up fresh for you. You're welcome. Please don't spit water on anything. Just do one more check. Okay, you're going up. That's good. I'll give you insulin. Sing it. <laughs> go ahead. You were doing it. Go ahead. <laughs> Rehydrate your throat. Go ahead, sing. <laughs> I heard you. Sing. Go ahead. Where's your sing voice? You're all shy now. We get the camera on you. Okay. My man, you ever gonna let me. Daddy! Daddy, you ever gonna let Daddy put the lights back on here? When I'm doing it. Daddy! Sing for me. Daddy! There come! Daddy! Now you're Daddy. I'm Daddy. I'm Daddy! <laughs> Beckham. Daddy. Beckham. You took Daddy. that. You took that from Birdie. That's how Birdie says it. It's the one word he really clearly says. As of lately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Daddy. Daddy. Beckham. It's gonna be a long night, Beck. I'll try to get you in bed by like eleven with melatonin. Let's we'll see. Hey, look at that teeth, man. Look at that teeth. Look at that little monster. Look at that little monster tooth. Oh, this boy just come. Let me see your tooth. What'd you do? You just pulled that out? Let me see. Cheese. Let me see your teeth. Let me see. You got it out? <laughs> Uh-oh. The tooth fairy's going to come for this one. Okay. Damn, that's a big one, buddy. Good job. High five. How'd you do that? You just pulled that out like that? You knew it was coming, huh? Brother lost another tooth. All right, we'll put it under the pillow for the tooth fairy tonight. Good job. <laughs> smile. I get a nice picture. What is this? Cheese. Smile. Smile. Come on. <laughs> You're always missing teeth. Brody, again, I keep telling you, you got to stop throwing these in the sink. Just place them over there. And they fall down that thing. I cannot get them out for you, baby boy. Stop throwing them in the sink. Just put them here to the side when you're done with them. Then come back to them because you always want them again. How come you can turn the lights on? Oh, because you want to see your tooth? No, get down. No, this is no. Get down. Uh, you just, I'm not even going to. 
Where are you going? You have food out here. There's no more gummies left. Get down, Beckham. Beckham, get down. Toothless again. I'm just gonna put it with his other one. I think that was his other front that fell out. Look, there's your two fronts. What's in there with it? <laughs> Look, your two baby frontals. Oh, where'd you go? Again, Clark's staying on the ledge, right? Get down. Get down. Look at your two front teeth. My two front teeth. My two front teeth. I'm going to donate them to science and they're going to clone you. Make another Beckham. Now get out of the bathroom. <laughs> Yo, give me my phone, dude. <laughs> this is now. Stop taking my phone. You little wild animals. Beep. Are you wet? No, I got other outfits ready just in case. Well, we know where that's going to end up. Somewhere in the house in a moment. Yeah, I see it. It's all good. Spaghetti's easy to clean up. Why are you using Mikey as a weapon to destroy your spaceship? The portal. Put Mikey in there. Okay. Okay, that's not nice. Thank God that one just bends back over. This is no. This is no. Go put your butt inside that thing and roll you down the hill. Your butthead. <laughs> Again, this is no. Stop throwing the sticks in the sink. Simply place them off to the side and then use them later. They will end up down in there, plus the sink is dirty. And then you put them in your mouth. Not to mention the spaghetti you eat off the floor. Alright, well I got you out of this fight over here. We gotta turn this on for one minute for so I can do this. I can't really see too well, buddy. Good job! You're playing a really nice song. You did good with it with your finger. You're getting way better. Yeah, we'll make sure we do this because then the only other thing we have to do is diapers. Over there. It's only 8.30. This kid is not ready for bed at all. He's wandering from door to door trying to open them. I know, I know, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 the first breaks of skin. Everybody. Oh boy, I got one good. Good job. Let me turn lights off and play music. Here we go. To see. Just don't go standing on that ledge anymore. You're going to knock your real tooth out. The tooth, the permanent tooth. Imagine how you lose both teeth. You lose the baby one and the new one. I'm ready for the other one. Good job, buddy. You better not be dumping water out here, just ice. Good. All right, just cleaning up the room, hoping that the birdie won't rip it apart. Just put Boss Baby Christmas on up in here. See if Birdie will sit down and relax and watch it. We're back home, but they won't. It's nowhere near time for bed. It's too early. Oh, Boss Baby Christmas! All right, it's 9 o'clock on the dot. Daddy's going to go out there. I'll give you a clean towel. You don't need to use that dirty one. I like that you mute the tapping. You being good boys. Thank you. Good job, Beckham. You know where the remote is if you need to put on another movie or whatever you got to do here. Thank you. Turn it up a little bit more. We still got to change them again. I know we're up on 72. All right, Dad's going out there. I got to get vitamins, all the things I need to do for myself today. I'm slacking, man. Take your vitamins, kids. It puts the lotion on its skin. Before I sit down, quick peek in. Remember, I have the keys. They sound like they're being good. Good job, boys. This is yes. I hear Beckham singing over there. I can hear him on his own. Singing and playing music. This is yes. All right, I got to sit down a little bit here. Let's go check on the boys. The sick boys. And again, the keys here. I hear them. They're singing and playing music. You being a good boy? Good boy. Good job. High five. Hello. Good job. You doing your decorations? I like it. Yeah, yeah Christmas. Oh, look at you learning, trying to get out of the door with the butter knife. Unbelievable. This is no. This is no. Yeah, I'm going to take that with me. I'm sure there's more in there. Don't do that. Just stop. Your brother's upstairs, right? Watching Boss Baby Christmas. All right. I'll be back. Oh, you want me to get you some water? This is yes. This is no. Let me fill the other one. Mostly ice. All right, here's one for your brother, too. You and your brother. Mostly water, honestly. There's no ice in there. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna add this to my collection. Said the kid's smart. <clears throat> so he, he ain't getting out of the master lock right there, though. The little doors, maybe, but not the master lock. There's no way. You can't do it with a butter knife. It's a bolt that goes all the way in. These you can get them open, you know. All right, it's 10 o'clock on the dot. Again, everything else. 
try to get these boys changed if I can get that done. I know he can still get out, but he's not gonna get past me. Let's do a diaper change. You want a diaper changer? No. Yeah. Your brother has two on. You only have one. So let's go. Come on, let's change your diaper. Well, I need the key to open up that to change the diapers. And of course, you want to take video of yourself, huh? I know you ain't got no poops. Do you want to go potty? Come on, let's go do potty real quick. Get all the pee out. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Fun stuff. The daddy's gonna have keys for every damn door. All right, go sit on a potty. Let's go. Hey, yeah, taking videos of yourself, oh, no, yeah. Come on, go pee pee. Good. I know you had to pee. Good job. Leave that alone. Just don't touch these. Just go potty. Leave the pictures alone. It'd be nice if you could help me instead of just like you know taking pictures of yourself. All right, you're good to go for the night. Two diapers. We'll see if we can get Brody new ones, but I doubt it. Come on, Birdie, let's come downstairs. I want to change your diaper. I want to put new ones on you. Again, Birdie has two. He's fine. He only had one. Lock this, shut it. Come on, you want to get changed? Let's go. Come on, let's check your diaper here. Good job. Step into the office right here. Right here. Thank you. All right, let's go. Come here. Come here, Birdie. Let's go. Brody, please come to me. This is now. When I ask you to come to me, please come to me. Thank you. Let's get you so you don't have to have a new outfit on. Thank you. Good job. How you doing, baby boy? You feel good? You good boy? Yeah. Now, this top one stays on. We only do the, the zipper part so we can. We don't have to take both off. I know. You're trying to rip it off. And this one wants to make his videos. Ah, he, he pooped back on. Oh, we smell it. It stinks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get your nice moments in their memories. Just like the ones we never thought we would make. And, you know. Pull the second diaper up. Good God. What did you eat at school today? Oh, my God. The boy just had a blowout. Pull the second diaper up. I know. My little babies. Don't try to pull his tooth out like he did yours. His teeth. Those are his big boy teeth. He has them for the rest of his life. Don't ever do that. I know, you'd be really good. Good sports for being sick. I, I appreciate it. <coughs> sick boy or not. Hey, before we clip this, can I get a noses? I love you, kid. You guys are my little angels. Gay, gay, gay. You gonna play some music again tonight? Yeah, after 11, it's only 10, 12. Oh, I love you, boy. My little Eskimo kisses, boy. I love you. We gotta do the clip. We gotta clip this. We gotta clip this to make sure you're good and comfortable. There you go. You're good to go, my two Santa Claus monster boys. Watching Monsters University. Good job. I'm going to throw this duty diaper out. You still good temperature 72. I like it. And of course, I accidentally locked this again. Holy crap. What? Now these kids are devils. That is a nasty duty. Thank God we got rid of those before any accidents happen or in the morning nonsense while I'm crashing here tonight because Beckham's definitely staying home. He might even stay home. Who knows? We'll see. We'll get sent home again. Let's get Birdie's got to bring like 10 blankets down. They got to go back up with you at the end of the night. All right, kids. This is Yes. Watching Monsters uh, University. Relaxing. Where does bongo drums go? We can't have those up, at, up there at night. He brought them upstairs, I think. All right. We'll find them later. Add the snow here. Stay warm. <laughs> here, Beck. Stay warm. Here, Beck. Cover yourself. Get nice and comfy. Stay nice and toasty. Watch your movie. Oh, you giving it to brother? Oh, go rock out, huh? Here's the bootleg Mike Wazowski, the one that looks like him. He's awesome. He's plush. Look at it, kid. Try to leave the house. It's not gonna work, son. Then I think about that, but no, he could actually get out of here. Oh, you know. All right, I'll be back in 15 minutes. Frosty, the snowman on the refrigerator with magnets. Again, got it for like seven bucks because it said somebody misprinted it. It said a Merry Christmas. They put good luck. <laughs> I'll take it. Always wash your hands after type of changes. All right, I'm going back out there now. I got my key. It smells like cowish in here, guys. Does this spaceship work for dad too, or just you, man? Where can I travel to get away from diaper changes? I also noticed that both the cups of water are on here, Brody. So you didn't dump it on yourself, so it must be dumped all over something. Ugh. Oh, man, this is going to be a long week and weekend. 
with them being sick. These are the tough, tough times, man, because they don't want to sleep. Except for during the day when they're sick, which kids do, and I get it. I'm giving them till 11. I'll even let Beckham go up at 11 and Birdie at 12. I don't care. But Birdie's school seems to be fine with him going, so I know Mom's going to send him back again. Maybe just send Beckham. I don't know. Keep sending them. You're trying to get them to school because they were they were sending his notice because they missed like 40 days of school in here. It's just like, you know, even after COVID, it was like, do you understand why? It's like, you know, and you get these notices like, okay, we're trying. We're sending them. You send them back. I know they send Beckham back because he's sick coughing, but he's also misbehaving in the process and he's tough and they can't handle it. So they send him. Birdie, he's fine. They don't send him back. He's got the same cold as him. You see them sending him back? He's fine. He's just coughing. Common cold. But again, put it back in the pile. I got the phone charging here. Take your vitamins to keep up with the kids, adults. All right, it's quarter to 11. Let's try to get the kids up. Brady's up there drumming. Do you want your gummies? Yeah, we're going to get those gummies, man. Yeah, I think it's time, baby boy. It's time to go up. Two for five. Thank you, Andy. Six months of five. Come on, the fumes. There you go. Pick that up. Don't drag it. That's why it's not charging. Thank you. All right, the water cups are already up there. I'm not giving them any more. Just get the blankets. Oh, the animals. Okay, keep going. Thanks for destroying uh, Beckham's bed there. Thank you. What do you have? You, you don't need all this with you. Here. What do you have here? Spoons? Okay. This is no, though. You got the cups back there. I'm not getting into this with you with the water. I'll allow the drum tonight because I'm going to fall asleep. <sighs> oh, my bed. You know... That's why I don't make it anymore before. It's pointless. Lay down. Go ahead. Lay down. I can't keep up, man. Come on, fumes. There's your blanket. What do we say before bedtime? Sweet. Bye, Chris. I love you. Love you. Sweet dreams. Bye, Chris. We got the curtain shut. I love you. Bye, Chris. Bye. I love you. Get some sleep, kids. Happy Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah, you got a little bit of a while. Bye, you got some time. Jesus. Get some sleep. Lay down. The night lay down. Oh. Get some sleep. I think you're, your brother's got the water back there. Oh, come on, man. He's got the cups back there. Go get them behind him. See behind him? There's got to be ice in there. I, ca I cannot fill them because he's going to dump them all over himself. You good? All right. I love you, sweet dreams. Oh, come on, man. All right, I'll be right back. Give me a minute. Jesus Christ. He needs his blood sugar's probably a little higher. There's no control at this point. Again, this is, no, this is why, because it's gross in here. You put these in your mouth. Place them here. Let's give them some water though. And Beckham wasted most of the ice, so it's barely coming out. Yay! Dude. At least he doesn't flick that attic light on anymore. There you go, double fist. Get some sleep. I hope you drink all the water. There's some ice in there. Come on, you gotta put this back on your bed. What is this? I just put this back on your bed. You gotta lay down in a bed. Cover yourself. I can't keep making the bed. I'm on fumes, baby boy. I love you, sweet dreams. I love you, sweet dreams. I know you want to dump that out. Oh, yay. Bye. Yeah, we're going to give it to you. Bye. Let's turn the spaceship off. We never want to leave these battery packs plugged in. They can explode. Take this to the cat on duty in it and throw it in there with it. Make sure the cat's on duty on this. This is yes. Oh, we really got to clean up in here. There's like peanuts all over. 
I meant to do that today, but then he got sent home. I'm only one man in the village. Hi. Things cleaned up. I like this. I like all the decals. Good job, Beckham. 1050. Kind of figured 11. Animals. Bathroom. Oh, no, I can't. That's right. Better get the damn key. Just to take a damn leak. I want to say <clears throat> edit and share yesterday's video, but we're going to wait like a good half hour. I need me time. I didn't get much. But I put the key in there. All right. All right, let's edit and port yesterday's video. It's awesome. All right, let's try to get it together here for the end of this video log. Oh, under the moonlight here. Let's take the glasses off as it look like uh Bubbles from Trailer Park Boys. I'm exhausted. And it's not so much the uh, the behavioral patterns with Beckham or Brody. It's just the hours you spend with them, it exhausts you. When a child is sick from school, you need school. Summertime, I still don't know how I get through it every summer. I honestly don't. <laughs> Guess because we're outside in the sun, it gives me more energy, but... You'll see this is very weak ending here as I'm like bleh, 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 bleh. I'm, I'm exhausted, man. Uh Beckham will be staying home from school tomorrow, I'm sure. I'll leave it up to mom. I'm pretty sure I made Beckham's lunch. It's in there. I was lazy with it. I just like put spaghetti on top of whatever it was left in there because I'm just tired, man. And I know the vlogs don't help too with with my time, but that's not what takes up my time. It's just uh continually trying to keep them safe and happy and that is a father's responsibility and i see people online with special needs kids there's families of six and they got four disabled kids i just found out today through a friend of mine thank you for sharing that and they losing their mind but it's like what do they they don't share all that other inside stuff and it takes a toll on you and we got to get these programs in place for the boys Respice and a lot of stuff where people come by and help for situations like this because I'm tired. I am tired. 16 hours plus today is uh, Beckham kicked his door at 7. Even though mom got him up and put him on the bus and sent him to the school, I said it's 50 50 chance he's gonna be sent home. But, you know, you do what you gotta do. But um, that woke me up. I never went back to sleep. Next thing I know, I get a text at like 9 30, 10. Uh, they're sending them back already. Mom's going to pick them up. Grandma, she did. And I'm thankful for that. I could have walked down and got them, but I'm thankful I didn't have to do that. So good. Yeah, it's like 16 hours plus. It ended, it, the whole week, it didn't go into the weekend. The weekend. And it's just like, it's going to be, it's going to be like six, it's going to be a whole week of 16 hour plus days. As I talk about that village thing here, as I think about it more and more, it's like I don't need a woman in my life <laughs> as a romantic partner. I need a family, a village, but it's like everybody has their thing going on today. It's tough, man. You will see me mentally break down at one point again. I'm sure you've seen it on somewhere. I don't I don't go back and watch these. I'm sure I've broke down many times on here. Probably crying on it. I don't even know. I don't go back and watch them. I'm just exhausted. I'm not alone on that with parents, especially these kids, they know. I just happen to document it. It sucks. I don't care. I don't care what people think of me. This is, this is the truth, the fact, the way the situation is. Uh, and then some will say, why don't you... I had some... People actually email me like, why are they still in diapers? Why didn't you put them to bed earlier? First of all, they're in diapers because they're autistic children. And they don't understand and comprehend all that. And I can't keep up with two of them in diapers. And the one thinks it's funny to poop himself all the time. So, I don't know. I think it's time to take that diaper off of him and let him learn. Because he doesn't like being uh, gross and dirty. So, he won't poop himself if he doesn't have a diaper on. And then the other thing, where why not, why not put him to bed? Because they self-harm themselves. So, it's better letting them go to bed at their own terms and their own time. Unless I want to go up there 
If I put them in bed at seven o'clock, eight o'clock at night, it's gonna be bang, bang, Beckham kicking the door, changer, and like this and that. It, it, it's crazy. You're better off finding that routine, and that's why I'm out here. As much as I don't want to be, I'd rather just be laying in bed, watching a movie or a TV show, and doing that. But I'm also out here to keep him from running off because he's getting smarter by the second, and it's crazy. You saw him with a butter knife now. So I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> I don't know if you use any advice. Like, I mean, again, I'm trying. These are educational documentary stuff, memories of my sons. I think they're doing really well. And I am as well. Just, just, I'm just tired. That's all. Just tired. Just tired. It's the body. It's looking the body keep up. You're not a robot. You're not a machine. I was joking around. I was like, your dad's not a goddamn robot, man. I ain't a machine here. I ain't AI. Maybe AI one day can go back to all these videos, of the, the daily vlogs of hundreds and thousands we've, or thousands we eventually post and create an AI version of, of that and make them like AI, autistic child, caretaker. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's so exhausting, dude. Yeah, mom's here now. It's fine because I told her, I said, ah, I got this. I got to say, so they nap for like three hours because they're going to be up late. There's no way they're going back to bed when I just woke them up from a nap at like seven, eight o'clock at night. That's the reality of it. And then personal stuff, it's like all the stuff that we went through is like when her mental health took a toll. Mine did as well. We separate all that stuff. I mean, it's personal, but like it's real. It should be documented. You should be talking about this because everybody goes through. You got to learn from it. And I'm walking back and forth to people's places, sleeping on couches or floors, wherever I can. I've even camped in a damn tent. I don't care. I actually get the best night's sleep in a tent. And here, I, I hate being woken up at 7 o'clock in the morning with a child going bang, bang, bang. Kick, kick, kick. Like, he kicks the head out of that door. To the point where you think, what the fuck? What the hell? Who the hell's breaking in the house? It's mentally exhausting. And me pumping all these vitamins in me, it's helping. Like, right now, I'm awake. But I'm not. It's more like I just need to sit here. And I wanted to take a nap today when they were both napping. But that's a mistake what I've learned from in the past. <laughs> so I just like kept looking online for Christmas stuff. And that's it. Just, you know, being Santa Claus for the boys. Hmm. I don't know. There will be a time where dad will mentally break down. And I will lose my mind, and I'll go, oh, where am I? What world am I in? <laughs> it's just like it's inevitable. It really takes a, a, a village here to raise these two boys. And I'm showing that I can do it on my own for the most part. But it's kicking me in the ass. <laughs> like no other. But I will continue to hold it down. I will keep them safe the best I can. Keep them happy. And hopefully that their behavior patterns will improve. It's the eloping is the most dangerous part of this whole situation. And Beckham's diabetes, of course, on top of that. Brody is uh, doing well. He just got to stop dumping water on himself to get common colds. That's whatever. Hey, yeah, yeah, well, it's whatever. It's, it's Beckham eloping and disappearing to people's houses. We don't need that. Anyway, another day in the books. Uh, rinse and repeat, do it all over again. Uh, you know, I mean, there's things I would love to do in life besides this, but this is my way of coping it with as a videographer. And it's benefiting them visually watching themselves. Obviously, the Christmas thing, I love that. It's heartwarming to watch them watch it. And I mean, there's so many things I can do. And I'm doing it on the side, but it's it's keeping me too occupied. I'm, like, tired. from. I had a video that was supposed to be due this Friday. I don't think it's going to be done. <laughs> I'm just not done. Uh, stuff for like commercials. I was, like, I'm pretty good with that stuff. That's why I put on my YouTube channel, Business Inquiries. Like, what, what's your business here? What's your business? I'm like, uh, what? Because people are just tuning in. I was like, I don't even want to say that one. I never responded. Like, it's not diaper changing, certainly, because I don't know what any weirdos are out there just like looking for diaper changes. I'm like, okay, if that's your thing, like, just please go elsewhere. I've been selling uh, video clips of television shows and helping create commercials with ourselves for like 20 years now before YouTube. So, you know, it sucks. Every time you try to do something good, there's always, like, somebody out there to ruin it for you. And I hope it doesn't come to that point where i got to take this down because we're getting really good extra income, like, $400 this month. That's awesome. And I thank you all for visually watching it. Uh, hopefully not. It, it's 
the intentions aren't wrong. I don't know. I see these shared in special needs groups, but then I got these other messages that like only one or two, but I'm just like, can you show the full video of a child's diaper being changed? Well, why do you always cut that? Like, dude, they're seven and eight. They don't need to be shared with their diapers being changed. Like, you know, back, back off, man. Like, come on, man. It's a scary world we live in. And I get it was from something, some way that they were raised in an improper way and something happened to them that disturbed them that way. Get away from that, please. And stay off the channel. Go elsewhere. <laughs> If that's the case, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't like that. That frightens me. I don't need anything that my kids, but honestly, I'm not really worried because you come around, yeah, you yeah, will fight, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm sure they can protect themselves too as they get bigger. We got a couple more years of them being little, and then they're going to be big giants. Like I said, dad's 6'2, and I got a size 14 foot. And Brody's already bulging through his clothes like no other dude. He's got big feet, big hands. He's a big ass kid. He's, they're already over four feet tall. So both of them. Brody's like four two. Beckham's four feet. So I ain't worried about it, man. I'm just saying, like I want to educate others and others to educate myself because I'm still learning daily. And, I, and like I said, I'm exhausted. And it takes a village. There ain't no damn village here. And I appreciate their grandmother getting them today. Just here for about a half hour, hour, and then left. I don't know. That was myself. I'm not saying, hey, hey, Grandma, we love you, but like, I don't think she can handle them mentally and physically. And I get that because she's a tiny woman. She's like five feet tall herself. But it'd be nice to just have somebody here say, okay, I'll take care of them. You go back and go relax for a little bit. I can handle it. Nobody, man. Nobody, dude. Nobody. And that's when all these, these, the, uh, Dyfus and, uh, perform care and all these people come out don't you have any family no there is nobody coming here there's no rescue team there's nobody coming here man it's myself and the mother putting a roof over her head the best she can while her mother helps out with the bills and all that stuff and that's real talk that's the way it is in new jersey it's too damn expensive to live here taxes like seven grand to live here you know how ridiculous that is and if her and i were still together i would say yo we gotta move down south right so they get a thousand dollars a year in taxes and you know you could be and you can work and do your business down there it's way inexpensive new jersey is a, a butt effing place to live it is disgusting dude and it's like most of the new yorkers north jersey people keep moving more down south jersey here is get the property is go i mean it's high property values maybe you should get lucky she could sell this place for like half a million dollars one day but like it's ridiculous dude there was no economic balance here whatsoever it's disgusting when you're trying to raise little kids and especially kids as well like on top of that like i'd rather be living in a van down by the river what i'm saying chris probably because <laughs> this shit is insane dude but uh, anyway now that i know they're safe and they're in bed i'm good to go i'm gonna sit out here edit tonight's video post yesterday's video slowly breathe the fresh air in and that's it man you got to take it one day at a time and it sucks i know it kicks you in the butt it really does as you see it's kicking me in the butt but again i wouldn't trade it for the world man there is no progress in life unless you reproduce with children who they are what they are you know i know in the long run it'll get easier it's gonna be a long long run to get to that point <laughs> My sons are beautiful, smart, intelligent, loving children, and I would not trade that for the world. And if I went out <laughs> with a stroke while <laughs> caring for them, I went out with a banger. That's the way I would want to go out, caring for them, because that's the most important thing in life. But I don't think it's going to happen. My heart's doing so good, dude. For those on that, too, I have an implantable defibrillator since 2005. I've had one. Heart failure back in the day, and I'm doing great, man. Like a doctor told me when I went over his finger thing, when I was fixing a hole in the wall with Brody, he's like, you're one of those rare cases. Like, what, what's your secret? I said, hey, you know, lots of lemon. I joked about it. I said, lots of drugs. <laughs> I was like, I'll take you. He's like, what? I was like, no. I was like, I, was like, I take my vitamins, man. I was telling him COQ10, Argentine, quarantine. I said, vitamin C, potassium, lemon juice, mean green juice. You got to put in the tank. Which we got to put in the body with the, with the body, you know, what you take out of the body. We put in the tank, we take out. And that's one of the most common mistakes of people. And I'm only on one heart medication, a beta blocker. And that barely does anything. Let's just take it twice a day. I take it like once every couple of days. Don't do anything. But you got to put in your body good stuff. Carrots, broccoli, all this stuff. 
There's a, I'm going to tell you right now, there's a diet that I used to be on strictly. Look up mean green juice if you're, if you want to juice. You want to talk about weight loss and balancing your body about mean green juice, lemon, uh, lime, kale, spinach, green apple, celery, uh, something else in there too. I don't know, whatever, all the greens, six or seven, there's a whole document of it. And I was doing this for years and I'll tell you what my body reflected on. It was like, holy crap. It was like a whole week. I mean, my energy was like doof, 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 doof. super skinny. Just, it was so healthy, man. And I want to get back to that, but without, without a vehicle, though, I can't go to the local produce place because that stuff's too expensive online, like Walmart and all the other stuff. You got to go to your produce down the road, and I can't be walking down with bags in my hand. Like, yeah, it's only like a mile away, but that's a whole thing. So I do the supplements. You see the bag of supplements in there. It's a dump load of pills in there, like vitamins nonstop, man. And the only reason I'm weaker now is because I just did another vitamin regimen, man. That's it. And it's keeping me from getting sick. I saw whatever common cold they had or whatever virus something was hitting at me, hit at mom. She got a little bit, but I, I'm good, man. It's only a little bit for like a few hours. But that uh, ghost pepper uh, soup today. Hell, I hit that S H I T T E R pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> I love my spicy stuff, but man, that blew a hole out of me. <laughs> I was like, holy crap, just clear me up. I guarantee if my kids would take one sip of that spicy soup. They sign us to be clear. See, I don't hear them coughing or anything. They're drumming. They're, they're calm and quiet. It's just, I don't know. It's a common cold. But ever since COVID, school systems have been so strange and weird and strict about policies. But it's also because Beckham is a behavioral issue. It's eloping. It's diabetes. It's tough on them. And I get that. So they're like, let's send them back immediately. That boy went to school. He coughed a couple times. I sent him right to the office. I said, oh, and then mom was like, oh, I can't get him to this time two hours later. That's their responsibility. Kid doesn't have a virus or an infection, he has to stay at school. And they're like, oh, he's got to go to the doctor. And there's a whole thing with his insurance, so it's a whole thing. But anyway, I'm talking too much. But anyway, I love you, my son. Sweet dreams. Stop stop judging. Start loving. Accept those ours. Be yourself. Treat the kids the way you want to be treated as kids, at least the best you can. Go love yourselves. Go F yourselves. And, uh, you know, that's it. And uh, enjoy every day the best you can because tomorrow's never promised, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, I love these days with them. I'm tired. It's, a, it's an accomplishment. And that's, again, what I was telling somebody today. I said, like, vlogging them is beneficial to them for myself as well. It's it's a sense of, like, accomplishment to show what you've done through the day. It'll help you get through it. Because some people go unrecognized all the time, like mothers. Like mothers, fathers, mothers, especially in the past. Like, you know how much they busted their butts throughout the years and parents never appreciate them? You know how hard it is to raise children nonstop? It is exhausting. I'm not saying I'm not saying because a man can't do it. Obviously, I'm showing you I can, but it's just it's exhausting and it's unfair to think that like a mom like oh what do you do all day like give me a break dude they destroy themselves dude to take care of their kids and this is just two boys two boys and again you see parents like six average home is two but like three four five six and even more than that imagine that. You better have that damn village for that village there. <laughs> and someone said, would you want more kids? I don't because I'm not financially stable. But of course I want more kids. I love kids, man. My kids are the shit. Excuse me, my curb stories is going to get flagged now. What is life without kids, man? There is no purpose. There really isn't. Without children, there is no purpose in life. You didn't do anything with your life. You sat around, you, you, you slept around, you never had kids and that responsibility, and now you have nothing to live for the next generation. Your legacy's gone. I'm creating a legacy for them and possible potential of them to have income in the future. And I'm already showing they can. And Beckham, I guarantee you, Beckham and Brady will have something someday. I have full confidence that they will. And it's going to take time. We will get there. And we'll, maybe we'll look into marketing stuff. I don't know. I'm not in a rush for them. I'm just enjoying the moments with them. And them being a pain in my butt, and myself being a pain in the butt to them. And that's family, right? All right, everybody. Take care. And again, nice note. Just just love yourselves. Take care of yourselves, please. Because life is hard as it is. And be thankful for what you got. Because you know how, how, how hard it is for others out there. You see it everywhere. It's horrible. Human beings are awful. Because I think they were treated awful at one point. That's why they became awful. So, if you're not awful, 
and everybody can be good. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Take care.